Hey everybody, I am the creative lady and it is Martin Luther King holiday weekend. So I am doing a little self care, rest and relaxation. So in today's video, I've got a couple things. One, I am gonna show uh, Shirley how this um, Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick pen work it's actually an uh, eyeliner i hauled it in a video when i first saw it in the store at ulta i thought it was a mascara but it's actually a an eyeliner and i'm going to show her how it works so it's like a, a little felt tip pen and i'm going to do a swipe on my hand while i am filming okay but just to show you how easy breezy you could do some different kinds of lines thin fat okay so i'm gonna let that dry while i um do this haul video um so yeah so i got this at ulta for i think it was nine dollars but since it's not prestige you can use your points and coupons on it you know so I told you guys that I was going to use that Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define to tone down the redness of that Fenty 440. But the more I worked with it, it was just like, you know what, take it back. It's not worth it to, you know, try to make a foundation work when she's got 40 shades, right? So I already had 420 and I still have some left. So I decided that I would um, take it back and um, just go ahead and get something else. So today I am going to show you <laughs> another Sephora haul. Okay. So first up, because I took the Rihanna Fenty Beauty back, the 440, I ended up getting tried and true my Kat Von D locket in the shade deep 78 neutral it works for me the one that i have the first one is empty if i could see it i'll get it for you but i don't see it oh hold on y'all but I, I do see it hold on i hope i don't make too much noise oh y'all hold on sorry 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 for getting out of frame Woo! hold on y'all uh mm -hmm. oh, whoops girl okay i got boxes and stuff kind of stacked around <sighs> for my last haul that I need to put away but anyway yeah sorry about that y'all but yeah I emptied out the Kat Von D the original one look at that it is plum empty so it was a perfect match for me I have I in my opinion neutral undertones so the other one the other one was pulling a little bit too red for me so I just went back and got just another deep 78 neutral I know that it works when I use up my 420 I'll just go back and get another 420 I'm not gonna try to you know change it up no so next up um, I had gotten a promotional card or something in the mail that had a, a Gucci perfume sample I thought it was going to be the one in the um, with the uh, limited edition yellow bottle but once I opened it and this is actually Gucci Flora, like the uh, Gorgeous Gardenia. Gorgeous Gardenia. And I thought it was supposed to be the one with the yellow bottle, but it's actually this one. With a clear, you know, typical perfume bottle. But it smells like Gardenia. But I thought the one in the yellow bottle, uh, limited edition, was exclusive because I thought it had like a patchouli undertone. But I don't think it um, had, it, I don't think it was in stock. So I like this one. It retails for 78 bucks. You know, it's Gucci. I like gardenia. I've always loved the gardenia flower since I was a kid. And Gucci did this one right. So... If I can find the one in the yellow bottle and smell it again, if it works out, I'm going to have to get it because I thought it had a different undertone. And my husband was like, oh, I like that one too. So 
if I find it and if it's different I'm gonna have to have both of them so that is Gucci gardenia or Gucci flora gorgeous gardenia I like the way it smells I was on a perfume kick so I got two of those little samplers so next up I have another Kat Von D product and it is her fragrance thinner no Saint this is Saint I smelled thinner you know she's got Saint and thinner I smelled thinner Saint no what did I, what is this y'all hold on I smelled thinner I did not like it it's in a black bottle I did not like it it was too spicy almost like um remember aromatics perfume that your mama probably used to wear it smells good but sometimes it's just like oh it's too strong it's a little bit too strong so that's the way the thinner was for me but think smelled good and I thought you could layer them together to create something new but I wasn't feeling it um I also almost got it because it had like two little miniature bottles plus a Kat Von D liner but I was like forget it I'm just gonna go with the one that I like and I don't need a perfume just hanging around that I don't like you know so I got this one and I don't know what kind of ounces it is or whatever but it's just like the little you know the little travel size and it does spray out I like the way it smells I don't know what the under notes undertones are blah 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 I don't know but yeah I like this one the next one that I got is one that I had to make a decision because there were several different ones and if you know this you'll know it from the Juliet series and this is Juliet has a gun Moscow Mule it smells amazing now I don't think I've ever drank a Moscow Mule adult beverage you know it's the ones in the copper cups that you drink out of I don't know I don't know what's in it but um this smells really really good too and it comes in a cute little packaging uh, there's like a Juliet something else and Juliet something 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 but it smells really good I've already sniffed it it almost has like a men's fragrance undertone it's kind of strong but not really strong enough I like it um if you go in Sephora go huff it I don't know what to tell you <laughs> okay y'all so and the final thing when I was in line my aunt had some of this and I was like I tried it over Christmas and I'm like I'm not paying that money for that but I did the Laneige lip mask lip sleeping mask and I got the original I think she had the vanilla or something but I like it um I never thought I would pay 20 bucks but I can just get a big jug of aqua for but it does work and I just dropped a little uh scooper hold on y'all so yeah I just dropped the scooper but this is what it comes with like a little spatula spatula <laughs> a spatula that you can dip it out with and smooth it on your lips so it kind of keeps it sanitary so you're not sticking your fingers in there but it's really nice um i've been wearing it at night and in the daytime you know so it's like a lip gloss i don't know what the magic uh formula is but it does work and like i said this is the original and it comes with a little protective covering I don't know what that scent is. I don't know if it's tropical. I don't know, but it's, it's, it, I, I like it. So if you go in Sephora, I think the one good thing about Sephora is they will give you some, some samples. So that's great, but you know, that's that. So with my frequent shopping of Sephora lately, I got a couple um, more sample items I think the other day I was in there when I bought the Rihanna I got some samples and in this haul I got some samples and this is by Coors Beauty I guess I don't know and this is wild rose some type of brightening facial something something I don't know haven't used it yet and I also had the sample for Ula I think it's Ula 
Henriksen, Henriksen, I don't know. I know Fumi, her husband's name is Ula. So I'm thinking this is Ula, the O-L-E. I don't think it's Ole, I think it's Ula. But anyway, so I got that. And I think this is some type of sheer transformation facial cream, something, something, something. I don't know. What is this? I haven't opened it because it's been chilling. Okay, so some type of facial cream that mm, almost smells like relaxer, but you know, I don't know. But anyway, that is pretty much the gist of my Ulta haul. Not Ulta, mm, Sephora. But anyway, I think it's this Ulta bathrobe that's got me all saying Sephora, Ulta, whatever. I need to go to bed. Even though it's a holiday weekend, I need to go to bed. But yeah, here are all my receipts and stuff. I have to keep up with my receipts and whatnot. But anyway, here is my hand. And I do have some oil on my hand. So we're going to see how... So it does kind of rub away because I do have oil on. But I do believe... And I've tried it. I had it on in my video yesterday when I did the haul for the earrings, but it did last. Um, but because I do have um, low, like a oily base on, it's, it rubs off a little easier. See that? It's, I'm rubbing, but it does rub off a little bit easier, but it's still on there. Okay? It's on there. Now, if I rubbed hard enough, of course, it'll come off. But... You know, for eye product, I like it. But if I didn't have that oil on, I think it would be um, hard to get it off. But I like it. I will buy probably one more just as a backup because I think it's a good product. Easy to do the little wings for your wing looks. And if you just want just a liner, yeah, I like it. So anyway, that's it for this, y'all. Thank you for watching. I am going to take a pause for a few days or something because I just need to woosah. Okay. So I've been coming at y'all pretty strong almost every day since last month. And it has paid off. I mean, I'll just be honest, it's paid off making frequent videos. I have not had a schedule, but I do see an increase in my subscriber count. My view count is up. I look at my analytics and I see things are spiking. But y'all, I can't do videos every day. Even if I do the ones like the direct upload, I can't do videos every day. I've also gotten some requests online and in my real life to do a little bit more YouTube conversations. My sister-in-law met some lady, I don't know where she was, but she, the lady wanted to start a YouTube channel. She said, oh, my sister-in-law can help you. I'm like, what? So, and I told her what I will do is just get all my things together and just make a dedicated video because I don't have time to sit down and counsel everybody about youtube i'm still trying to find my way so i'm not the end all be all but i do understand how youtube pretty much works but you know you still have to have that engagement uh an audience to watch you you know and now you have to have that four thousand hours of watch time along with the 1000 subscribers in order to monetize and it seems like most people now are trying to jump on board of youtube for the monetization and you know and I know that it's not easy anymore it never was really easy but it's harder now because everybody has the same idea oh I'll just get on YouTube and I'll just make it on YouTube not possible well it's possible but you know it's not that easy you know but anyway I'm gonna do her a dedicated video along with other questions that I've gotten recently and just put them together and just give my opinion because like I said child I'm still trying to find my way but it is a platform that I enjoy so that's what I'm just keeping that in mind that that is what it is okay so I thank y'all for watching subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video Bye y'all. Oh, thumbnail. All right, I'm out. Bye y'all.